All right, hello and welcome to our geology kitchen. And I'm gonna bring us through a couple of steps in the making of some metamorphic morsels. We're gonna be making pancakes and we're gonna be modeling the formation of metamorphic rocks. So the first thing I have here is my rock material, which is my batter, which I pre-made ahead of time. The other thing which we have over here is two hot griddles. So we heated up these two griddles for a while to represent the hot inner part of the earth. And maybe this is a magma source. And I'm going to show you how hot these are by throwing a little bit of water on this. That's hot! My lovely assistant, Mrs. Spray, is here to do the play-by-play -play and the color for our demonstration. All right, so we have two very hot pans here. What we're going to do is we're going to add our batter to both and see what happens. We're going to add two pancakes to each. Just going to imagine it's Saturday morning and you're watching cartoons and you're making pancakes. All right, so we're gonna let them heat up right now on just one side. And if you know from your pancake making experiences, when the tops of these bubble, they're probably ready to be turned over, but we're not gonna turn them over yet because we're trying to make a point here. So you remember that our pan is the hot rocks deep inside the earth. There's probably a magma source touching them and heating up, them up a lot. And we only have one part of our rock material which is touching that, the bottom side. So I'm going to go out to this one on the right here. I'm going to peel it up a little bit now. I can see what's happening to the underside of our rock that's touching our hot rock or our magma source below. Uh, we can take a look at the one over here too. And we can see that change has happened, but we can see it's only happened to one side of our pancake. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn over the pancakes here before we have a fire. And we're going to do two different setups here. The one on your right we're going to add pressure to, and the one on the left we're going to keep the way it is. So I'm going to stack these in two on top of each other, like two rock layers on top of each other. And what we're going to do is we're going to add pressure. Now we're going to see what happens as a result. Okay, so we have our two sets of pancakes, one with pressure added to it, as you can see on your right, and one without. We're going to take off our pressure, and we're going to zoom in and see a profile or a side view of our rock layers. And we're going to think about which one looks denser and which one looks less dense as a result of that uh, pressure or no pressure.